Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Holland again. As I promised, I will show you some of the Scandinavian knives I own. Well, I start here on the left side. This is a handmade Finnish knife. I think it's a very nice one. It has the Scandi grind on it. And a typical Scandinavian leather sheet. It's made by some Finnish guy called Kauko, but I can't pronounce the last name. But it's a handmade knife. Then I go to the Peltonen, JP Peltonen. Also, uh, the, it's called the Sissi Puko. Also Finnish. Very nice leather sheet. Dangler sheet. Do like dangler sheets, by the way. And it's got a roll lock. So if you insert the knife, it will lock and it will be ready for upside down carry. Okay, you probably know this one, the F1, pilot survival knife, made in Sweden, laminated steel, convex edge. It's also tapered by the way, and that's the one thing I don't like about it. I would have liked it to be not tapered, but like the H1, the hunting knife. Keep the full spine right up on the tip until the tip. So I really prefer this one over the F1, the H1. I do own two of these by the way because I'm going to use this one in the woods. And uh, when I use a knife, I try to have another one at home in my in top condition for my collection. The F2, the fishing knife. Actually, uh, Falcon even used to make uh, Kydex sheets. They stopped doing this. These come all with side tail sheets, except this one still has the Kydex sheet available. Well, maybe no longer available, but I do really prefer Kydex uh, instead of side tail. But again, there's really no, not much choice anymore. Besides the leather sheets, of course. Okay, one of the more expensive ones. This one is a G, uh, 3G steel, laminated 3G, Rockwell 62. It's called a professional hunting knife. It's a bit longer than the normal hunting knife, the H1, but also this one has the full strength of the spine right up until the tip. Nice upswept blade. The forest knife, the woods knife, the S1. I do like it a lot. I do like the, the clip. The only thing is that the, the spine gets smaller. It looks a bit like a secondary edge, but it is not. But I don't like this because I want to be able to push on the knife. So, not my favorite one, but a good, very good knife indeed. And the A1, the survival knife, the bigger one, even heftier, 6 millimeters, laminated steel. It's a real nice one. As you can see, the spine, it does taper a bit in the end, but not too much. So you won't have any problems pushing the knife. So as for sheets, uh, well, this one with the Kydex, the rest all Zytel, but I do have some extra sheets. The leather sheet for the F1, but also the H1 will fit perfectly in here. I also have the open top dangler sheet for the H1. Very well made, thick leather. And I have the open top leather dangler for the S1. Why do I like danglers? Well, because if the knife is up here, connected to your belt, and you're wearing your backpack, your backpack is, the belt of your backpack is over the knife. And if you have a dangler, your backpack stops here, so your knife 
is fully accessible yeah and it won't hurt your your waist so that's why I do like the dangler sheets I also have the the U2 as a backup knife so I hope you enjoyed I will show you some uh, more knives later because I have a lot of more knives also also very good knives um, maybe I'll do a video on machetes later and one on the my working knives okay I hope you enjoyed the Falkneven and the uh, Beltonen and the uh, Kauki uh, knife handmade finish okay take care see you later bye